Alright, so welcome to our new video. This is the Reliant Robin version 2.0 mod for Assetto Corsa from the author Stereo. This particular version is based on the 1975 model with an 850cc engine with a total output of 50 horsepower, weighing in at just 992 pounds. You may have seen this car used in various comedic Top Gear specials, but today I'm going to feature it in a way that has not been done before. I'm actually going to hot lap it in the most serious of manner for three laps. This mod doesn't appear to be necessarily perfect or even beautiful by any stretch of the word, but I do hope that it will be a lot of fun. I've not actually had the chance to try this out yet, so we're actually going to be trying this one out together. Now, down to business. The Reliant Robin was produced in three separate variants over the course of 30 years. It did not get the name Reliant because it was necessarily Reliant, but actually because it was produced by the Reliant Motor Company. This company, from Tamworth, England, was once the second biggest UK-owned car manufacturer and it existed from 1935 to 2002. Yeah, I know, that's crazy. It, that means that this Reliant Robin was produced, producing three-wheeled death boxes for a total of 67 years. What's not crazy, though, is that you consider that the idea behind this was to create a vehicle that would require a motorcycle license and keep drivers warm in cold and wet conditions. Well, when you factor that in, it's actually kind of genius. To add to the stroke of genius, the Reliant Robin was actually the second most popular all-fiberglass car in history and was first manufactured in 1973 as a direct replacement for their previous three-wheeled car, the Reliant Regal. That was in production for a full 20 years that was based on the Reliant Regent before it, going all the way back as far as their first cycle car in 1934. Now, in the 1970s, the Reliant Robin was actually quite well received. Why? Well, as I had mentioned in my Jaguar XJ12C video, 1973 was the year of the oil crisis. When you consider that the Reliant Robin managed 70 miles per gallon with a top speed of 85 miles per hour, that also cost 55 Great British pounds less per year to register, you can imagine how well this car sold. So, that's enough of me chatting. Let me put on my gloves here, and let's get to racing. Let's see how this car does. Hopefully this will be entertaining. There we are, putzing along. Now, there's, uh, don't worry about that CPU occupancy, as I've mentioned before. I've got that all covered. There's no sound. So what you're seeing is, is actually just me racing it. Let's see. How tipsy is this little beast? Oh, oh, okay, it's tipsy. Yep. And I'm good. Back to first gear. Okay, so I, I think I may have helped to find the limits of the actual car. Let's see how hard I can push this thing. Here we are, going up third gear. Ooh, braking is actually pretty easy. This thing weighs nothing. Great. Alright, here we go. And so I can definitely feel the floaty suspension, the quick steering at the front, direct down to the wheel, just like on a motorcycle. Um, so it handles as I would expect a Reliant Robin would handle. We are not necessarily using the correct wheel for this, but uh, yeah, it gets the job done. Oh, 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 careful, careful, almost tipped there. <laughs> Uh, it's certainly enjoyable. Okay, second gear, rowing up here, going to third. Look at my speed climbing. Currently going um, 90 kilometers an hour. Or for for the Americans here, 65 miles per hour. Fourth gear, look out. This stuff's getting crazy. Nice and bumpy. I'm going to go ahead and slow down here. Third. I think I can take this in third. Let's see, how's it do? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Third gear, nice and smooth. Oh, I'm almost making this look too easy. Trust me, there's a there's a certain weight transfer in the wheel where I can feel the car wanting to tip at the top. It's it's kind of hard to describe. I, I guess uh, part of the visuals on the screen helps me to 
get an understanding of what the car's tendency is. But, um, yeah, there's a certain feeling in the actual steering wheel that makes it want to tilt. Let's see here. See how late I can brake. Brake nice and late. Ooh, ooh, not good. Not good. Okay, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, okay, back in the pits. Okay, so braking too hard and trying to turn, not a good idea. I, sh I should have known. Let's try that again. Let's try braking and turning. Second gear, accelerating out of the corner. Ooh, trying to prevent myself from tilting, going off road a little bit. Ooh, back tire spin out from behind me. Let's get this going. Okay, second gear. Oh, how I wish there was sound. You might hear the wheel jostling as it's uh, running over the rumble strips on the side of the road. Duk, 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 duk. Let's see. Yeah, you feel all that. There we go. Let's see if I can prevent it from tilting and keep my speed. Yes, beautiful. Here we are, accelerating third gear. Now, as I continue to go here, there's a part where I can, you see the car kind of jumping up and down. Fourth gear. Seven D miles per hour, yes. Okay, almost got upset there, managed to control it. Taking third gear around these corners. Trying to keep a nice, calm composure so that I don't upset the car. There we go, rounding. Doing good so far. Nice, oh, 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 nice, recovered that. Okay, here we are, back on the straightaway. We're going for the final third lap. Um, I can imagine, I was reading some of the stuff about this car, and it apparently doesn't work well with the AI, which is, is fine. The AI is not quite made to handle the only three-wheeled car that's probably ever going to be put into a set of Corsa. But um, I can imagine this being a lot of fun with friends. You get a bunch of friends to install the Assetto Corsa mod, and... and um, set up some sort of a, a racing event with them where you're just racing around and rubbing against each other uh, would certainly cause a lot of havoc. Let's see. It's down the straight. Yeah, you can see that floaty nature that it has. Okay. Second gear. Probably, I don't know if it wanted me to shift up there. I don't have an audio cue. I'm not paying attention to the screen as much as I should be. Nice feedback there. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Ah. Yes, come on, upright, upright. Ah. All right, well, we'll just, uh, I don't want you guys to sit here and watch uh, me do a full lap, so I'm just going to do a half a lap here as best as I can, and, uh, and then we'll call it a day for the Reliant Robin. Um, just wanted to get some cool facts out there and showcase this wonderful mod by Stereo. Again, as I mentioned, and in, in, as I try to mention in all my modding videos, uh, I polite, politely ask that if you do decide you want this mod, you do want to play around with it, that you support the modders that do this stuff for free. Um, this is not a full-time job for them. This is something that they do in their pastime um, just because they're very passionate about sim racing. So. Again, this this goes out to Stereo, the creator of this mod. Thank you so much for the Reliant Robin. I uh, hope we'll start to see more videos and more people racing with this because, truth be told, it is a fun, wacky, goofy car. And I think 
track battles with this car would be a lot of fun. So we'll hit up the straightaway, we'll do the back half of the course, and then we're going to go ahead and call it for the video. I do thank you for watching, and I'm just going to go ahead and, and finish this video out on a silent note. We'll see you next time.